Hi, good morning, friends. Today we're going to see how to create a composite role. Composite role in SAP environment. Okay. Now, first of all, we see what is composite role and what is the uses of composite role and what are the advantages of composite role. Okay. Composite role is a collection of a single role. It's a collection of single role. Like if we have 20, 30 roles, we want to make a composite role. We add just all single rows to one composite rule and you essentially composite somebody, then all composites, all single rules get allocated with one composite rule. It means it's a collection of a single rule. And we need to use transaction PFCC to use it for all types of rules. To work with any type of rule, with a composite of single, we need to use only transaction code PFCC for all types of rules. Okay? And use proper naming convention for all types of rules like if you create a single rule use a prefix that is you want to create a composite rule use prefix that thing why is it required because if you follow this then you can able to find your rule in, uh, uh, immediately like in sap they have got their own rules from letter a to letter x y and z they gave it to customers if you create rule with a or b you are not able to find your role because SAP has got their many standard rules in SAP environment. So what they done, what they did, they give Y and Z to the customer. If you want to create any role, okay, you have to use Y or Z. Today we are going to use Z. Z is, is for single role. And Z is for composite. If you want to find all composite roles, it's like Z three star, you get all composite roles. If you want to search all single role, that is star you can find all single rules very easy to find because sap has got many rules in standard environment okay now user assigned to a composite rule we get all of the ratio of single rules for example who we'll take 10 single rules and create one composite rule okay when user gets that one rule a composite will be able to get all authorization of thus those 10 rules because all single 10 rules i have assigned to one composite rule this the work made easy for basis. You assign one single rule in uh, one composite rule in which you assign all single rules, then user will get all authorizations of all those single rules. The advantage is that instead of assigning 20, 30 rules, you can simply assign one composite rule to the user. Okay. They do not have any authorization data of their own. They just use authorizations of existing single rules. They do not have any their author data, authorization data. Now, what we'll do? We will jump on to server and see how we can create a composite rule. I just log on to the server. We are going to use transaction code PFCG as we discussed. Okay. Now we have used the role name. With, with what role you want to do? You have to just specify name over here. You can able to use a single role and the composite role. Yeah. If you click here, it will be single role. So click here, it will create composite role. Now first you have to specify a role name. ZD. ZD. Amen. Purchase composite. What I try to do? I'll try to merge all purchase related rules, all purchase related rules to one composite rule. Okay. This set MM purchase composite rule. What I'll do here? I'll try to merge all purchase related rules into one composite rule. Now I click on composite role. Okay. Once you come back, now you have to specify the description. Role to merge all purchase roles into one composite role. This is our role to merge all purchase rules 
into one composite role. It's a description. Now, what you have to do? You have to add a single role. What type of single role? Just click on role. You have to first save your role. Now, see how many single roles you can add. When there is no limit, you can add as many numbers you want. Just click here. Set S. Okay, I'll set D. Grab all the single roles. I use that star. Okay. We have got all derived roles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I select all these roles, these are the derived roles, okay, or single roles. Can add it to one composite role. I have selected one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single roles. Okay. Okay, now I selected all single roles. Now I will add to save. Once I save, once I save this, then all these seven roles you can assign to any person. So assign a all these single roles to any person can able to get access to all the single roles by Assign the single transaction, single composite role. Only. Go to menu. There is no menu. Okay. I go to user. You have to add user. This user. But this you have to assign this user. So I'll just take Navin 1. I'll just take Navin 1. And I'll press on user comparison. Say first. I will have assigned this role to Navin 1. Okay. And this role will assign today itself. Okay. And it will work till 3112 What we will do? We we'll save this. We we'll go to the user and see whether he will assign or not. So, 301. Navin 1. Go to display mode. Go to the section. Yes, see, that see, mm purchase composite tool. If you can able to set two circles here in the composite tool, the composite is consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This combined this combination combination of all eight tools guided <coughs> this composite. Now Navin is able to <coughs> work with all single rows. That here if you have four transactions, here five transactions, six transactions. You can able to use all transactions, all plans, all company codes, which are there in single code. This is what I would like to explain in this composite code. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Okay, thank you. Thanks all.